OMG. Oh. I have gained a sister once again. <laughs> Shock wow. Yep. It's amazing. <laughs> yes. Magical Pokemon time indeed. Indeed. <laughs> also, lovelies. Lovely lovelies. If you do not know, this is Del. This is my sister. Uh, she, they pronouns for Del. Still, still Poggin? Yep. Poggers. Poggin? <laughs> yes. I am... I, you, you, Hello, everybody. You know how I get with the pog. <laughs> I know how you feel about I know. the pog. I know, okay? Also, chat, it's kind of funny. You might see my, my collection of plushies behind me is large right now because I am packing. And uh, in packing, I have accidentally put all of the plushies on the table behind me. Oops. Ooh, a collection. That's like not even all of them. That's just the ones that hang out in here. Wait, okay, so you know how I got the little donut little donut guy? Yes. I love him. He's great. He's glorious. And uh, I love him. I got him at I got him at the con that we went to. That's Chat, it was great. Your little, your little tiny boy. Yes, my tiny lads. It's great. Oops, all plush. He's so true. Also, we got a hydrate redeem, so drink oh. your Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Wonderful. Perfect timing. But chat, we have a fun we have a fun little treat for you today, and I'm super freaking excited. Uh, so if you do not know, here I'll scooch over a little bit as well. Uh, Del and I were at Denver Fan Expo last weekend, where we had lovely, lovely cosplays that we spent a long ass time making. <laughs> yep. And today. <laughs> We're going to show you guys the build book we made. Uh, we submitted these cosplays to a contest uh, at the cosplay contest that the con had. And we made this build book that is um, almost 40 pages long of all the cool things we did to make these. Uh, and I thought, well, you all know the fun, the, the lovely stories of how, how con itself went and how the contest itself went. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Yeah, we, we talked about it. <laughs> uh, it but was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was it was fun to talk to other cosplayers. Yes, the, the people that were in the contest were incredible. I did so end up uh, messaging the person Omnic we were standing next to. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I wanted to say friend. that you're a really cool streamer Yo. and a really a big inspiration of mine. Less friends. than three. Hope you have an also, amazing stream OMG, and day. One year subscribed, Blue Ink. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uru. <laughs> Again. <laughs> when did I pick this up? <laughs> I don't know. Oh I mean, my apparently god! In the, like, know, the last three like days, two, three days since I've seen you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm gonna switch to this. Look at this. Yeah. So, for this lovely build book, uh, Dell is awesome and was the one in charge of like formatting a lot of this because I was too busy making too much shit. <laughs> And I was uh, bored in summer school. Yeah, teaching summer school. Teaching the summer school, <laughs> not 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 stuck in the summer school. Yep. Bored teaching the summer yeah, school. Bored teaching summer school. So. Ugh. so yes, it's super pretty. It's really like just like fun format. I really like it. Uh, yeah, and oh, I forgot everyone. Cosplay prop redeem is on, and so is it on for Dell. You can also. The only prop we will not be putting on Dell, we will not mustache Dell. Dell will not wear the thing I shove up my nose. <laughs> Which I appreciate. But I, I have been, <laughs> I have been, I have been moth intended. Mm -hmm. I have been moth. I forgot to make it so that you guys have to put in a, 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 a thing. Wait, okay, one moment. Wait, I have to, I have to make them be able to fill things out instead of, uh, otherwise this is obnoxious. Ah, I see. Do, 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 do. So the person who redeemed it, you have to go. You have to go. Actually, tell me what I have to now put on Dell. Oh, that's the rule. They get to pick. Oh, fun. <laughs> okay. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All right. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I need moth antenna. Woo! Let me not drop things on the ground. Oh, I remember. Uh, last mm -hmm. time, somebody when I was on stream, somebody asked me what my favorite Terry Pratchett book is. And I've been thinking about it since then. <laughs> so I hope you're in the chat, person that asked me. 
The answer is Dr. Maurice and his educated rodents. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm incredible. It's incredible that you remember that. Oh, just, cat ears. Heck yeah. Okay, you get cat ears. Wonderful. Wonderful. You get cat ears. So, glorious. Whoever asked me that, I was in thinking about it. That's so funny. I love that you have remembered this for this long. Nope, I specifically remember. I'm like, okay, I need to. Next time I'm on stream, I, I should tell them. All right, there are clips on the cat ears. Okay. That you can clip into your hair. And you may cat ear yourself. Okay. There's perfect. a second cat ear. Aren't my cat ears cute? They're very adorable. I have cute cat ears. <laughs> All right, now we get to go back to the thing we're doing. Wonderful. <laughs> very so, serious discussion. Yes, serious discussion. <laughs> Our first thing that I'm going to say is uh, for those of you that do not know, fun. this is fun like trivia, trivia old time moments. Oh, we do get some old classic photos of us. Yes, we get some fun old photos of us and the fact that uh, Del and I, when we cosplay together, kind of have a little group name. We call ourselves Soulless Sisters Cosplay because, wow, shock wow, we're sisters. And shock wow, if you didn't notice, we're both redheads. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's kind of a thing about gingers and souls, perhaps. there Perhaps there's a thing. So... Uh, the reason why I think it's kind of fun trivia is also our Instagram, uh, my Instagram now, used to be the Soulless Sister Cosplay Instagram. Uh, and then eventually I was like, people are being weird about me and I don't want you to have to see it. Yep. So I'm going to take over the Instagram. <laughs> yeah, so, so they got the Instagram. I still totally lurk there sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to look at somebody, but. So true. Look. Ugh, okay. So, about us. I guess we can like actually kind of read, I can read guys. So, about us. Uh, hello, we are the Soulless Sisters. Hey, hey, the they, them, and Del, the she, they. And this year we are celebrating nearly a decade of coming to Denver Fan Expo and cosplay. Del is a English teacher who has always had a strong passion for sewing, creating, and all uh, stories of all sorts. Hey Hey is a part-time engineer, full-time content creator who focuses on art, cosplay, and storytelling. And as you might be able to tell by the name, we are both siblings and gingers in our free time. In our free time? <laughs> I didn't know we were gingers in our free time. It's um, <laughs> funny. <laughs> and we are both ecstatic to get to show you our latest cosplay endeavors. So fun little detail also on the bottom. You can see uh, some of the other cosplays we've been doing at Denver uh, Fan Expo, which we have done. Our first one was Hiccup and Toothless. Yep. It was adorable. Yes, it was very good. I had big, big, big wings, big, delicate wings. It was awful. It was terrible. I was standing behind them, blocking out the wings most of God. Oh, yeah. It's like nobody would bump into them. Mm -hmm. uh, we got uh, Edward and uh, Winry. We got uh, the D. Gray Man. Uh, <laughs> it was a deep cut. Uh, <laughs> Tiki and yeah. Alan. Yeah, Tiki and Alan uh, gender like swapped. We did a Dementor and a Patronus before someone right. was a turf. Uh, <laughs> right. She revealed she was a turf. So true. <laughs> before someone was a, a yeah. Uh, and then 2019, we is our only year that we didn't do matching, which is very strange. We hated it and decided not to do that again. Never do it again. Uh, I w we went. We had one day that we matched where I was uh, I was Taco and you were Merle, but the rest mm -hmm. of Con I was Loop from Adventure Zone, and you were the freaking White Witch from Narnia. It looked f so fucking cool. I love Jadis. She's one of my favorite uh, yes. female antagonists of anything. And then if y'all remember last year, we did Momo and Appa and actually got to meet the voice actor of Zuko. It was really fun. Or we got to meet the, well, Jimmy, we got to say hi to the voice actor of Sebastian this time. Yeah, we did. Oh, I did talk about that. Yep, I did talk about so that. Fun. From Black Butler, if yes. you did not catch that. <laughs> but yes, so uh, our little like concept for this year uh, was as cosplayers, we love experimenting and discovering what type of cosplays we most enjoy making and wearing. Based on experimentation, we have found a love for making well-known characters with a twist because that is something we both really like doing is, uh, like, neither of us like making screen accurate characters. Like, nah, fuck that. That's not fun. No, we've done it before. Not a big fan. It's just not as fun. Um, I think we did like Death Parade. We went screen accurate characters. Yeah, are pretty screen accurate. Are pretty screen accurate. 
Oh, there's the mustache. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, fine. <sighs> All right. <laughs> so, we're both passionate about care. Wow, I look so silly. We're both passionate about character design, so it's fun to add our own style and creativity to cosplay, whether it's gender bending, uh, genre bending, humanizing. We find this kind of art very rewarding. <gasps> I've been freed. Sick. <laughs> um, uh, last year we did Human Alpha and Momo and fell in love and this year we wanted to capture some of that magic with new techniques, concepts, and challenges to the characters we adore so yeah I think we both really like character design just mm -hmm. as a, a part of our lives I really like obviously yep. with your work so yeah uh, it's uh, a great and accurate one just provides less mm -hmm. opportunities to do that yep what's the uh, genre bending oh, I'm so sad that like we never 2020's cosplay Never got to go to con. Uh, was Shira D and D, and it was so cool. My paladin Shira. I've shown it on stream before. I love it so much. Uh, and also, fun little fact. I know some people are not the biggest fan of the term like gender bending or gender swapping. Uh, I will say gender bending is a huge like importance to me because it is absolutely how I figured out that I was like gendered queer of any flavor because years before I figured out non-binary was like a thing I was going like what if I go to con as a man every con <laughs> yep have you noticed in most of there's these. a lot of cons where I'm like there's also people <laughs> in the gender bedding community to do like uh, gender neutral like yeah. gender bending which I would love to see more of that's Ooh. really cool I um, want to gender bend someone to just be non-binary Yep. I mean, I feel like your Momo is honestly Okay, Momo's probably, gender. yeah. <laughs> Momo is very gender neutral in this. I agree. This is good. So I think we kind of uh, succeeded. In yeah. That. But yeah. I, I just, yeah, gender bending was definitely like, it's one of those things I look back at and was like, hmm. <laughs> or it's green flag. Right? Green flag. <laughs> Maybe this was a sign. Rainbow flag. Maybe. <laughs> rainbow flag. Aggressively rainbow flags in the background. <laughs> oh, I love that. So, our little inspirations. Uh, when we were trying to figure out what characters to take on, we were trying to think of like, okay, we did off on Momo. We need another little guy. <laughs> What's a little guy? Pokemon are little Pokemon guys. Pokemon are little guys. Uh, so, we went for Pokemon. And fun fact, uh, we are not like big, big Pokemon fans. We were not uh, Nintendo kids. We did not have like any of the old Pokemon. Pokemon we were games. We were PlayStation oh, children. Wow. <laughs> but we have gotten more and more into Pokemon stuff as we've like been able to be adults who have adult money and can have a Switch that has Pokemon games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just like a lot of the artists we watch do a crap load of Pokemon things. Like mm -hmm. so much Pokemon art. So it's just been kind of like in our space. Uh, is cool. And you know, uh, we picked these two. It's funny, we realized when we were at con, these are actually not our favorite evolutions. <laughs> My favorite evolution is Vipirion. Vipirion <laughs> all the way. <laughs> but these two as a duo are so good uh, that we definitely, we went for we went for them and I love them. Yeah, we did tend to do like really intensely matching ones. Yeah. To do the kind of duo thing. Yeah. And they were just like perfect for that. Also like, they're so cute. All yes. the evolutions are mm -hmm. great. People really thought we were Sylvie on them. <laughs> I think people like really just like mixed up the names of Pokemon because so many people were like, ah, yes, Sylveon. Specifically Sylveon. It was always Sylveon. And I was like, I am simply not Sylveon. <laughs> uh, sometimes I thought, I, I think that there's like the evolutions that don't have clear yeah. words in there. Yeah, name. right? It's not like Leafeon and Jolteon. They went for like, what's the one that doesn't sound like a word? <laughs> Sylveon, right? Yep. <laughs> yes. Awesome. So, yeah, okay, the people that have spotted the dolls. Uh, okay, the doll. so what if we told you we mostly got into Pokemon because of Delightful? <laughs> <laughs> like, a lot. Uh, we've definitely talked about Delightful on my channel before because we've also had, like, entire things where I've made freaking dolls on this channel. Uh, we freaking love Delightful. And we really wanted to do the, like, Delightful design style but our own characters so obviously we didn't do like delightful's version of the characters honestly we're actually much more similar to sylvia yeah so actually <laughs> now that we look back on it we mm -hmm. look a lot more like sylvia 
Uh, and we were trying to figure out along along the ways. We were like, okay, we're gonna do a delightful esque Pokemon person. It took us so long to land on Magical Girl as the final. Land. We were gonna do like, okay, Pokemon Pinup, Pokemon Witch, Pokemon something, <laughs> and finally we landed on Magical Girls. <laughs> I have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> So, I'm very glad, but you did not have yeah. that as an option. <laughs> no, no mustache for you. So, you want to talk? You get to talk. Yeah, about, sure. And you don't have to like read your slides exactly. You can talk about whatever no, you want. I'm gonna summarize. So this one is just uh, for the uh, for the judges so that right. they know what who Umbreon <laughs> is. I'm not gonna tell you who Umbreon right. is here, but uh, we. Yeah, so, Omg, that's a reference. Photos. Little guy, little dude. Uh, this one, I don't like it. The one has a lot of right. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Free of the mustache. Free of the mustache. I'm just gonna talk about uh, the goals that I have for us, and just uh, making it really clear which we, uh, which we made and we, which we not, which is very important for uh, time judging. Yeah. Okay. We have you. You. You have a new cosplay from. Oh, wonderful. Give me the option. Okay. You can either swap which one you're wearing, or you can just add to it. Okay. Which one did I get? Raccoon ears. <laughs> I could probably add both those in my head at the time, at the same time. You get oh, little, little fluffy raccoon ears. Why do you have raccoon ears? Because I cosplayed raccoon Tommy. Okay. <laughs> Why does it say mostly worn by Dell? <laughs> Wait, what? Where? <laughs> Wait, where did it? I want worn. In, oh, worn and mostly created, created. by. There we go. Yeah. Because like Haley helped me with a lot of mine. So. Yeah. Or made a lot of mine. Yeah. But and let's a plethora of years. <laughs> yes. All right. Welcome. So design process. Uh, I started with the fabric. Wham. That's basically the summary of that. Wham. Uh, we did use a basic pattern. This pattern was the most frustrating thing we'd ever done. <laughs> um, so uh. we were uh, go so so. It, there is a pattern involved. Don't do McCall's patterns. Is what we learned. Yeah. Go simplicity all the freaking way. Not obviously not. <laughs> that, yeah, no. Simplicity, simplicity much simplicity. better. McCall's patterns. Um, I'll say like like a, a quick summary of some of the the issues with pa this pattern. Um, actually, you know, what? I'll save my issues with the pattern for my section. Yeah, that's fair. And then I'll bitch about the pattern. Yep, it's terrible. No. Also, uh, Etsy has lots of really good uh, individual yeah. independent patterns that I really like. Uh, so here's my top. Uh, so. First attempt is in the corner. Uh, <laughs> or many re-attempts with this cosplay. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then I just wanted to add more. Because first of all, we originally started and we didn't know that uh, the costume judging was back. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, so we had to put in more effort when we, we figured that out. judging. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, which I think was better because I think yeah. we got way better uh, results. But mm -hmm. uh, it led to a lot of changes. Yeah. So I mm. added a bunch to it and added straps because uh, comfort. <laughs> so true. Also... <laughs> I'll, I'll say my little the the thing that we kind of kind of skipped with the design process here with you getting to do fabrics. I like your little thing about your fabrics. You should you should talk about your your oh. fabrics and your funky like challenge that you had with them. Oh, wonderful! Really like right, that cool. Piece. All right, I'm really happy too. So, um, when I was designing, I had a big character design process with uh, having to do a, a, a character that just is basically two colors. Like I experimented a lot with trying to add red into it, but it just doesn't look like Umbreon mm -mm. if there's red. Um, is what I kind of so I have the contacts that are red, but that's about it. Um, so actually, I spent about three months going through Deadbolt fabrics and secondhand stores because I'd love to be sustainable. You do, um, mm -hmm. but that's very important to me. But just finding really fun patterns and textures, so I got to play with a bunch of laces, and it's really hard because it doesn't show up on uh, a photo super well. But the skirt has like a really pretty texture to mm. it. And, Hydrate. I don't know. Wonderful. I love being hydrated. <laughs> but yeah, I just look at the cool freaking like fabric. This is actually a huge, like a huge help for um, cosplay tip. If you are struggling with like finding fabric, going to stores that have like deadbolt fabric, that's like the end of bolts where it'll be cheaper because it's not like perhaps it's less than a yard. Um, also Goodwill. A oh, Goodwill. If you go to Goodwill, if you need velvet, just go to Goodwill and get a velvet dress. Yep, they're always there. They're super, because they're just a thing in the 90s. Yeah, they were such a thing. 
You can get such cheap velvet from just like a dress or a skirt because they're almost always just a tube of fabric. <laughs> nope, like uh, actually you'll see it later, but I have gloves that were part of a top that was mm -hmm. velvet. Um, I'd really recommend doing that, crafting them sustainably. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, so uh, uh, their Shira has a glimmer. I made a witch glimmer and that was entirely made of Goodwill fabric. Yeah. So, very good. Where do we both get the contacts? Our contacts come from Mocha Queen. You could use code HeyHey13, I think. I think that's my Mocha Queen code. If not, you could also they use Sherbert's. Give me Shut up, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, I had to pay like three times as much as you did. Yeah, because you see actually have mine. to see. <laughs> yeah, rip, rip to you. Yeah. Del can't see, so Del actually needs like contact contacts. Whoops. Terrible. Look at yeah. this corset, it's cool. Yeah, so here's the corset. Oh, this is my favorite piece of it. I wish I did something a little bit different with the top making it less tall, but other than that, the front is gorgeous. I probably right. will cut off the back at some point. Yeah, you just it reuse it again, stuff. yeah. It's gorgeous. I love this piece, again, using textures, fabrics, ribbons to really- This leather piece you got is so stinking cool and so perfect for the character. No, it was the first thing I bought. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it was a deadbolt fabric and literally it was like, Okay, <laughs> that's pretty as day. I'll get out. Yeah. I still have more of it. I need to figure out what to do with it. Yo, yo, heck yes. It's good. Okay, and then we got. Uh, uh, lots of stuff for my. This is a pattern for my skirt. Yeah. Uh, Look at all this information. <laughs> have, uh, skirt pattern super easy. I'd really recommend uh, doing Annika Victoria's uh, designs. She's Ooh. my favorite sewing constable. My favorite, like, basic sewing person. Mm -hmm. She's great. Uh, good person to support, but got that. Oh, talk, talk about your circles. Okay, so, so we had a really cool idea. We had a really cool idea for Umbreon. Umbreon has those little ovals on, on like their thighs. Uh, and so we wanted to really incorporate that into the design. And we were like, okay, are we putting this on like some sort of like on, on your legs or on the skirt? And we figured out to do the skirt. And we did something that I think I'm really proud of. I'm really proud of this. <laughs> I used my little Cricut machine to get this. It's an iron-on foil from Cricut. And I cut out, I literally, like this is the pattern piece that I use. I cut th these shapes out on the Cricut uh, after like having a picture of the Pokemon and like tracing what the exact oval shape was. So this is exactly what Umbreon's little oval shape is. Cut out the foil and ironed it onto the skirt. Then taking itty bitty scissors, <laughs> cut around the edge so that it was as close as possible. And then using uh, like a, it's a, it's a, it's basically like a stitch adhesive tape that's heat activated because I really didn't want there to be any seams. I wanted these to lay really, really flat. So you can use like liquid stitch or stitch adhesives to make it so that things stick together without having to actually seam them together. And then in the back is this really pretty like metallic shiny mesh. And then underneath it were lights. <laughs> yeah, the, the idea was that they could glow through the skirt. Yes. <laughs> So I really liked how this turned out. Uh, Real nice. It was it was cool, and it looked so correct. And then we totally made you have to like it. The, it's even pleated. The skirt is pleated so that like it it purposely like shows the ovals and doesn't like mess with them. And it's it's good. <laughs> yeah, do a lot of experimenting, but totally worth it. Beautiful mm -hmm. piece. Yeah, I really was proud of it. Yeah, you can even see it on your thing. The pleat marks we like purposely put so that the ovals would like. That'd lay nice and flat and be right on your hip and it was cool and look at how cool it looks <laughs> i like it so much <laughs> i like your skirt so much no it's a beautiful skirt <laughs> if only i ironed before those photos but it's beautiful <laughs> right, i love the skirt it's gorgeous 10 out of 10 would wear it if i yeah had any reason to. right <laughs> if any reason good skirt yep real good skirt i like apologies for the wrinkles <laughs> <Good. No. laughs> i've been sassy so true. Yeah, that's coats. just a petticoat. That's what's underneath it. It's, right. That's just what it is. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Super easy. Uh, this wig. <laughs> Fun fact, everyone. I'm a little, I'm a fool. I'm a little fool. Uh, Umbreon's wig is Ray's old wig. Ray uh, recently got an updated wig because I was having issues where Ray's wig is like, there was so much hair that I was like, bruh. Uh, 
Fun fact, the reason that Ray has a half up, half down hairstyle for season two is because that's the only way that the wig didn't feel like hellish. So I started tying half of the uh, wig back and that then transferred over to the character. Uh, and then I was like, when we were like preparing for this, I was like, well, now I have this, I have a spare black wig and you're trying to like not spend a ton of money because teachers don't get paid enough. Uh, I, here, have this wig. And I didn't think through that there's a reason I replaced this wig. <laughs> oh, gosh. Also, you have been axolotl finned. Oh, okay. You think I can fit it on my head? Absolutely. Put them below behind it. Yeah, so, okay. I have to show you how to put these on. Oh, okay. So the axolotl fins have a little wire and they actually just loop over. You can just shape them to loop over your ear. Oh, mm -hmm. that will totally fit. <laughs> so, yeah, you can just fit those over and you just bend it behind your ear. Wonderful. No, so this wig was so hard to work with. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so heavy, like the entire con, I was like. Oh, maybe, maybe. We'll see. They're not playing well with my glasses. Oh, you have glasses. Okay, got it. I think I got it. Got one. <laughs> Good luck getting two. <laughs> oh, so. I didn't think through how my axolotl fin design plays with glasses because I don't have them. What must that be like? Wow. Well, <laughs> there you go. There we go. But yeah. Uh, you can continue bitching about the wig I gave no, you now. <laughs> no, very nice. Uh, and it looks lovely, but at the end of con, I wanted to throw it into the sun. <laughs> yeah. It, just, uh, it was so it heavy. Was, it was so thick that the ears, my ears, are magnetized. Uh, we have, I have magnetic headbands. It's the same exact thing we did for Appa and Momo last year. Uh, it's the cause band where we have a magnetic headband under the wig, and then you can just magnetize ears over the wig. This wig is so thick, it didn't work. Nope. So the day before, the night before the con, I had to sew the ears <laughs> to the wig. <laughs> I was so pissed. No, throughout the con, like this, there was like tendrils coming off my head. It was just like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the wig kept being a jerk and I kept being like, no. <laughs> no, because originally it was not meant to uh, get tied back like in a ponytail, but I was like, this is the only way I'm be tolerating this through mm -hmm. con. So bunny ears. it turned out really cute, but it was frustrating. Okay, look at these cute little bunny ears that I have. So these are these are the down floppy bunny ears. So they get oh, to go like those are cute. This. So I have little down floppy bunny ears for this That's one. That's a cute idea. Oh, you've been freed. You may take off the raccoon ears. Okay. <laughs> I get bunny ears. You get less ears. It's glorious. Wonderful. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> that's a big deal. Running out of room on my head. <laughs> Figured out where you heard about the heat tape thing. Talk about oh, yeah. Moonlight. Okay. Fun fact. Uh, Can you help me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are stuck now. Oh, your curls are stuck in the raccoon ears now. Just a moment while I. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. How do I free you for without pulling your hair? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Here. I might just like. I might just have to do like a little like. Yep. Got there it. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Fun fact with Moonlight Jewel, actually, the entire con when we were getting ready and working on stuff, we were just watching, we were rewatching Delightful, and then I was showing Dell Moonlight Jewel and Enchantarium, which are all doll creators. So we were just sewing like the wind. Yep, sewing like the wind. Panicking, putting our cosplays together. It was great. <sighs> so ears and tail. Uh, I made I made ears into tails. It was fun. Uh, basically. Part of the thing was with this, what texture are Pokemons? <laughs> what are are Pokemons fluffy? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> uh, so we did our best, and we went for Umbreon being a like short velvet, and Espeon is a little bit of a longer, like a short fake fur. So it's a little bit longer than a velvet, but not quite like fluffy, fluffy. I think is what we kind of landed on, you know? Yeah, because they're both pretty sleek, but we don't want them to do the same texture. <laughs> and black velvet is like a pretty solid, yeah. easy thing to find. Yep. So like we said, black velvet, very easy to find at Goodwill. Uh, so this was just a, I real quick threw together a couple pattern designs to figure out what would sew together in the same, like in the correct shape. And wow, it's me. I'm wearing the magnetic headband that it should have worked with. <laughs> <laughs> but no. I decorate. <laughs> yeah, you got to decorate them and make them look cute and pretty. Yep. 
and then uh, I made a big floofy tail. It's kind of funny that now both these years, we have ended up with you having the big fluffy, basically a pillow for a tail, and I've had the thin slender swinging tail. Gosh, my back has been so messed up since gone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're just saying a lot, because I don't remember it last year, and Mappa's tail is way bigger, so I don't Mappa's know tail is way bigger. I think it was just the combo. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. The gloves. So those are made literally of a top. Uh, actually, my girlfriend found a Goodwill and she's like, she's like, look, 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 look. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause she was shopping with me. And look how cute they are. They're really adorable. Dell committed and actually made uh, their gloves. I, I bought my gloves and then redecorated them. <laughs> and you were like, I'm going to make them. And I was like, why? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I made them. They're from that top in the top corner. It's good. Yep. It's of cool, like, texture. Yep, it's just beautiful. Yep. Accessories. Accessories. We got the head duel. I don't really have any finished pieces, because most of them weren't finished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had that when we were making this, we were like, oh, God. <laughs> yep, but uh, most of this is actually the necklace. I yeah. Remember, because I really like it. I want to get it in silver. Yeah. It's good. So, just taking part. Ooh, the wands. So. The wands. I love the. I even. Okay, my staff is actually up on the. It's, it's bouncing on the wings. Do you want to grab it real quick? <laughs> yeah. So, with the wands, uh, they are made out of a uh, Halloween like. It's like some sort of like you know like gangster leader staff. Like it. Like like it's you know like supposed to be like the cool old rich man who like walks with his weird cane, his like funky cane thing where it's like not a cane that you actually need. It's just you looking like an asshole cane that cane um <laughs> it's so it's just a plastic tube uh and then a christmas ornament a plastic christmas ornament that i used what is called epoxy sculpt it's a two-part epoxy i definitely also know about it because of doll creators well, <laughs> the theme is we watch a lot of dolls. the theme here there's a theme uh i mean i made you a doll one year this is true. Oh my gosh, yeah. Del made me May from Overwatch. It was really cute. Yes, <laughs> and we... I did that for a holiday, and then we just got a... The other thing, the day afterwards, we just made dolls. I don't we did, we else. did indeed. It was great. <laughs> uh, but yes, so we did. A, I did epoxy sculpt to make the shapes up here, and then a lot of taping to spray paint things so that I could spray paint exactly just the bottom of them so that the top could be transparent. Uh, and glittery and light up. So the insides are stuffed with like unicorn film and fairy film, it's called like those. Uh, LEDs so that they light up and they look all pretty. And uh, we even made part of this on uh, on stream. We started decorating. I ended up even adding more sparkles to the end of the staff. It's great. Yep, uh, Christmas, Christmas baubles. Yeah, it's just a Christmas ornament. Christmas bobble is t like the word thing for it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the technical the term, technical indeed, term. the technical term. Uh, but we did this. We did that. We did. I did part of this on stream, and the is good. The gradient. Thank you. Fun fact: If you want to get good gradients with spray paints, one of the keys to doing it is distance. Instead of trying to like spray lighter down here, move the thing you're spraying further away. So keep it spray close in the place that it is densest most to dense and then bring it further away you can also do an angled spray if you are spraying spray kind of like this and you'll automatically be able to gradient something a little bit easier because it automatically sets up that distance for you so i that's my little tip <laughs> i love how well the piece bound is still on it right still matches it. <laughs> this is the piece bound uh from it's like a, a crappy like plastic ribbon that they that they tie because Archon has very strict rules about what you can and can't bring in there. You've been freed from your axolotl fins. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, Archon is very strict about what you can and cannot bring. So they have to be super lightweight, super chill. Uh, otherwise, they'll take them away. <laughs> and uh, for us, I think it's the stabs that like sold it for people on like knowing exactly what we were. Yes, because they're really identifiable. I mean, well, we were really identifiable. Oh, no, like, people knew we were the Pokemon, but, like, the staff is what got people to be like, oh, my God, are you magical girls? And I was like, yes. Yeah, which we cannot <laughs> believe somebody, like, multiple people actively yeah, guessed. Yeah, like, straight up, like, fully knew the concept, and I was like, like that's cool. <laughs> it was cool. 
But yeah, so both lit up and they were reclining. Yep, so there's some closer ones where they're both finished. Yeah. That's mine when I decor after I decorated <laughs> it. <laughs> also, fun fact, uh, these still fully separate. Uh, the, the tops are full, like the ribbons are all glued onto one piece or the other so that you can take everything apart. Uh, it actually worked out really well for us because right before we went on stage, we took off uh, yeah. Dell's Dell's top bobble piece and shoved more lights in it to try and make it so that the light uh, her lights were dying a little bit and so we were trying to shove more lights in there so that they would show on stage. Uh, but I don't know if it worked, but it worked better in person. Mm -hmm. It worked. It worked enough. Yep, it worked enough. <laughs> yeah. Espion. Oh, I'm Jesus. Me. <laughs> so I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> wow. Wow, lavender lilac Pokemon, which, God, what a weird frickin' color this was to try and work with. Uh, it's a miracle that I found some of the fabrics that I did because this is such a strange color. It's the time. Uh, here's our funky little basics. And you can, in a big thing here is uh, I'm a little loser who doesn't like sewing machines. And so I sewed everything by hand. And I stole my school sewing machine. <laughs> That's not true. I have permission. <laughs> Just saying, there was permission. <laughs> yeah, there was permission. I got permission. But it's yeah. so nice. <laughs> so fun little thing when doing character design sometimes, y'all, uh, is when doing the design process, something that I find really helpful is blocking your colors out early. Uh, so I you, literally like grabbed the piece of the pattern that kind of shows the front. I took out all the colors and then I just color dropped in and I wish I had the other ones. I had like several iterations of this where I was trying to figure out like which color go where, which color, like how, what, it, what is the balance of the dark and the light colors for this Pokemon to make it look nice. Uh, and eventually you landed on this one and I really like how it turned out actually. Now I'm going to bitch about the pattern though. Oh, this pattern's a jerk. Uh, so the main issues with this pattern are one, and apparently this is an issue with many Macau's patterns, their size guide sucks ass. <laughs> it is nonsense. Their size guide <laughs> sucks. Uh, one, to start out with, uh, you need, there's separate size guides, uh, there's separate pattern pieces entirely for uh, size ranges. Which makes sense. It makes sense that you would want to say the 6 through the 14 are in this pattern set. If you want the, the other pattern sizes, you need to buy the other set. Too bad this is the only spot where it says the size. Uh, and so we definitely bought the wrong pattern first. <laughs> because it just isn't anywhere. It doesn't show it. It's so small. And if you, if you grab the wrong one, you miss it. And you're like, well, shit. I had to go back and buy the right one. Based on the measurements that I took, based on their measurement guide, I was at a size 22. And I was like, okay, sure. I trust the pattern like a dumbass. <laughs> that was not right. By the if, With this pattern, there is no like test to see how it fits along the way. It is, you will not know how it fits until it is freaking done. And when it was freaking done, uh, there was six inches too much of it, which is a lot. <laughs> So that was a time. Uh, as you can see, even on here, that those boob cups are not how boob work. Nope. That's not like it's not actually cup fitting uh, to the model. And so that became a big issue of me actually having to change the cup size and the cup shape because those were not functioning how they were supposed to. Uh, chat got to hear about my, uh, when I sewed something upside down because nothing is labeled well. And then, uh, pieces just disappear on the yeah. instructions. <laughs> the instructions, like, <laughs> it'll be like, okay, so this, and I'm like, cool, I sewed that. And they're like, okay, we're going to remove it for the next piece so you can like see better what we're doing here. But then we're never going to tell you where it went, where it went or how to finish it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> So, like, I've worked with several patterns before, and this one just... I've never worked with the McCall's before, so mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a universal thing or whatnot, but, like... I haven't really worked with a pattern. The most pattern I've worked with is some... some I do have some simplicity cape patterns, which are literally cut out a circle 
sew it here. You're done. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's why I looked at the pattern and I was like, nah, I can do this better by myself. <laughs> yeah, you looked at the pattern and were like, never mind. I looked at the pattern and then went, help! <laughs> How do I read this? There's so many Snapchat stories sent between the two of us. <laughs> Haley being like, how to work? And I'm like, I think. <laughs> also, they change what they call things. Like, in the middle of an instruction, they will switch from calling this piece bias tape to, like, the binding. And then I will be like, what happened to the bias tape? And then you'll have to be like, it's it's this. And I'm like, why did they change the word? And you're just like, I don't know. <laughs> no, so I don't know. So I don't know if they're not uh, tested properly mm -hmm. or... What the deal is there. What the deal is or if it's... <sighs> the war is going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like just saying... This is how every stuff. time the stash is a redeemable thing, this is how it goes. <laughs> on the stash? Oh, on the stash? No, but yeah, you can see my fit issue here of there was almost six entire inches too much fabric, which meant that I got to reinvent the back of my outfit uh, to instead have uh, a corset backing. Because, yeah. Our Featuring our grandmother. <laughs> I forgot that I had her in this one. I forgot she was in the build book. I went to my grandma's so that uh, I could get help with pinning the straps properly because I can't, like have this on me and pin it in place so that I know where to sew everything. Uh, which was so funny because my grandmother was like, when I was like, yeah, I'm sewing everything by hand. Our grandmother's a seamstress. She's like really good. And she looks at me and she's like, why would you do that? <laughs> like she was so like upset at the fact that I was hand stitching this. <laughs> She was like, why do you need a sewing machine? And I was like, I have one. And she's like, do you know how to use it? I was like, uh-huh. And she's like, why are you hand stitching? I'm like, because I have problems and auditory processing and anxiety. <laughs> and I hate the sound of a sewing machine. It gives me migraines. <laughs> it was really funny. Uh, so yeah, that was a time. We also got the skirt. I do like my skirt quite a bit as well. If I can it's find so another way to use it, definitely would. And you probably could because there's like right? nothing like, on mine there's like a very distinct Yeah, pattern. you have a very like, oh, that's an Umbreon circle on you. But you could probably actually find a way to fix Rework that, that? Or, yeah. yeah. So it's cute. That was exciting. I do like, the wig was another asshole, but ended up being probably my favorite part. Uh, so I tried the alcohol. I ink dye method that I did for my Perix wig. And it was like, oh man, this looks so cool. And then I washed it and nothing stayed. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> Rip your bathtub. Oh, my bathtub is so fucked, dude. <laughs> I'm not getting my security deposit back. Um, uh, it oh. me, um, when I was in the dorms, I was dying the Dementor oh, uh, no. thing in my shower. <laughs> And luckily I got it all off, but I remember later on I had to talk to the maintenance guy and he was like, well, why do you have a problem with the shower? And I'm like, well, I've died stuff in the shower before. And he's like, you did what in the shower? I'm like, I did not do that. <laughs> I did I nothing in the shower several before. several hours dying of a robe in the bathtub. Uh, door. <laughs> no, I spent, so you can see the original wig is just the tips of it are dark purple. Mm -hmm. That was already there. It's a very pretty wig. It just didn't look right for the character. Uh, and I ended up also deciding that, like, I don't think uh, Espeon is, like, curly. Like, it didn't look quite right to do a curly wig. I was fine if maybe when it was done dying, if it ended up wavy. But I actually really like that I straightened it. No, it um, beautiful I spent probably two hours, like, just thoroughly after it was dry. I ended up writ dyeing it. And I finally figured out how to writ dye something, guys. <laughs> Oh my god. The key is, I had always done a thing with writ dye where I took the like the hot boiling water and then I rushed it over to my bathroom and then would do the dye process in the bathtub. That didn't work. This time I just stayed on the stove and actually like dipped the wig into the simmering, simmering, not boiling, and I just dipped carefully and with it being a gradient again you kind of have to like slowly lower it so that it like the time length going to things uh it's a beautiful gradient it's it ended up working it ended Somebody up you working save your tub in the chat. I, 
Oh my gosh, Star, I'm gonna DM you after stream. <laughs> that's that's Ghosty's boyfriend. And I'm gonna go bother them. Say <laughs> your security deposit. Uh but yeah, so then I just sat in front of I literally was just at my desk like watching like, I don't know, a show or something. And detangling and straightening and getting the wig to look really nice. And I love how it turned out. Uh, fun fact, chat. The uh, best wig detangler I have found is a horse mane detangler. <laughs> and it's so good at it. It's so good. I love my freaking horse hair detangler. It's so good at getting wigs on. You can even see it. It's mane and tail. Mane and tail in the corner over here. That's so, the best a tingler. <laughs> I, I used it for the wig that we did in our musical. Yeah. That's what you're using. Uh, okay. Giant ears. <laughs> Big old ears. Fun fact for my ears. Well, these look kind of familiar. It's because they, uh, well, this was Momo's ears. I literally just ripped off all the fabric from Momo's ears, cut them down to a different shape, and then, uh, remade them in almost the exact same way that I made Momo's ears of the inside is felt that I uh, put a gradient on because the inside of Espeon's ears are blue not purple fun fact <laughs> I did a little bluish purplish gradient on them and then uh, the short the short like f hair fluffy bits as the edges and the floofers the floofers also got to go in the dye bath <laughs> because I didn't own a purple floof. I didn't, oh, I couldn't find like a good matching purple, like fur, little uh, fur. Where would you find R that? <laughs> right? It's such a funky color. So when I was dyeing the wig, I ended up grabbing, uh, I have a bunch of white and I have a bunch of pink from all the Rambu and Techno tails I used to make. And so then I did various dye tests of how long do I dip you in this dye for until I get the color that is correct. <laughs> and it ended up actually working out really well. I love how these looked. Uh, and then I decorated the crap out of them with like the bows and stuff. We did that on stream and it was fun. And the tail, uh, same kind of idea as last year's Momo of I made a little tail cover. This time it actually had a little extension where I added armature wire and stuffing to make the split. And it also got decorated with bows. <laughs> oh my gosh, the accessories. Wow, this looks familiar. It's almost like it's a skirt. You can see my sub goal in the corner of this. <laughs> uh, but we were do I was doing lots, lots of decorations, lots of bows, lots of getting the headpiece worked out i custom like painted a little resin piece for the necklace that has the psychic symbol on it uh which was a time to figure out which one was the correct psychic symbol i used the psychic symbol that is on the cards in the card game <laughs> that's what i used hydrate because <laughs> i didn't want people to yell at me and be like you're a fake fan. You didn't use the right one. Ah, oh, fuck. Not the Rambu horns. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Those ones are difficult to put on when I have other things on already. All right, let me know if you need help. No, it's fine. I'm just being whiny about it. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. We're gonna we're gonna use this as a mirror. I'm gonna okay over, over. And boom, got it. Oh, it's a little too loose. I lied. Sort of, sort of there-ish. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, that works. <laughs> stay, stay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. OMG, <laughs> it's our little guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, they can see your rats. <laughs> They're my rats. Fun fact, you guys get to see this little man all the time. Look at the, look at, look at Dell's pets. I, guinea pigs and the little rats. They're so good. They're so good, little guys. Little guys, nope. so good. Nope, uh, my guinea pig, his name is Pippin. This is Pippin. Uh, we're gonna get him a friend, don't keep guinea pigs alone. Yeah. They're very social animals. Yeah. But then I got, Despero, he's the big guy on the uh, left, and then I have uh, Roscaro on the left. <laughs> You're and... a literature nerd. <laughs> yes, yes I am, but uh, Despero is afraid of life itself. <laughs> I have many bites of him on his finger. Oh, that's <laughs> fair. That is so fair. 
But they're the best little guys. Oh, uh, little guys. So good. But yeah. That's our that's our build book. Here, I can actually pull up some of the, the pictures again for chat. Uh, to, to see the final looks because I actually do in fact, you oh, that know. That is so sad. I would hate to be in a place where rodents are legal. <laughs> oh I just I just gather more rodents. The, yeah. From yeah you do. I have just emotionally disturbed rodents in my house. <laughs> just all your stressed little pets. Yeah, I love them. Love them. Love them so. Here I will get I'll get I'll get this one as like the like sh cute show at the here the, the final looks if anyone missed when I did this on stream. This is the final guys and they look so cool all put together. It makes me happy. They're so pretty. <sighs> I really like how they turned out. The me boys. too. <laughs> They're so cool. Those are the final looks all together and uh it's fun. We had the weirdest time of many people telling us like being confused about our eyes and being like, are your eyes naturally that color? And it's like, it, excuse me? <laughs> like, like middle-aged men just yeah. could not wrap their heads around the fact that like colored, colored contacts, contacts exist. And those are a new thing. <laughs> right? Also, you've been given dealer's choice on a cosplay prop piece. Oh, does that mean my You get choice? to pick. Okay. <laughs> There are rabbit oh ears, God. there are many wing ears, there are more axolotl fins. Those ears actually go on top of your head, not floppy little ones like mine. Uh, I find that that would be... Uh, the, 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 the ears, yeah. feather ears are really easy to just clip into hair. Perfect. Looks like, they look like these would match. Yeah, those are the older Filza set that are the, like... <laughs> man's might have gotten caught in an explosion for some reason. <laughs> Color contacts are super neat, but yeah. they're, they're real. I mean, actually, I don't. This is my first time wearing, because normally I wear ones that are like meant for everyday wear. Yeah. My first time that I really wore like SFX contacts. Yeah. But, uh, they provide such a good like. In these, the, these photos are not edited. That's just how bright your eyes pop. Uh, in 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 these in in this outfit and this cosplay, it was it was just good. It was cool. There, don't stick figure, doing lots of research, don't stick things in your eyes that you don't know where it comes from, that just yeah. fitted correctly. Yeah. I'm a lucky person who doesn't have eyeball issues, so I can be a little bit more, like, funky with my eyeball selection. Uh, my contacts, I think that there's, like, on Moco Queen, there are, like, the ones that are, there's blue ones meant for, like, I think they're, like, the Game of Thrones. I get to take off the horns! <laughs> I think that they there's these blue set that are like for like the Game of Thrones white walkers. Is that what they're called? Uh, but they made them recently in purple, and they were perfect because they have like a ring of white and then a ring of purple, and that is exactly what Espeon's eyes look like, <laughs> and that was really cool. It is such a pain. I agree with Chris. And yeah, yeah. Colored yeah. contacts when you have prescriptions are hard. <laughs> Yeah, some some dude came up behind me and grabbed me to flip me around, asking about my contacts. Don't do that. Don't touch people. Like Don't touch ask. people. <laughs> Don't touch people at cons or ren fairs or anything without permission. Nope, it was terrifying. And Haley was going far at the con floor. So like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I got separated. I walked too far ahead, and it was awful. I mean, I don't know. Lots of people don't know how to appropriately interact with people in cosplay. Yeah. Especially uh, on the more cutesy, feminine, sexy yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely a fun fact chat. I don't know if you can, uh, if you, I don't think that you can see it. Uh, let me see if I can. I don't think you can. Uh, but I have like a little, I, we ended up adding a freaking like small modesty panel of lace. <laughs> Because we sure realized that the cut of my dress went very low. And there were definitely some people being a bit weird. Which we were prepared for. Yeah, we were a little bit more mentally prepared for for this cosplay. But uh, some people are weird and gross. <laughs> Don't be weird and gross. Don't be, Don't be weird and gross. 
Don't be creepy. So true. But yeah, you could look at all the. Lots you can see of drunk all of our bows. Uh, college guys wanted to take our bows. Yeah, away. some drunk college guys were really excited when we were, when we when we do pictures with people. We always tell like whoever wants the photo, like, oh, you can stand between us. Like you can like be in the picture with us because mm-hmm. a lot of like we we try and do that to make it like fun for people when they come up and get our photo. Uh, and there were a lot of dudes who were very like. Yeah, and I was like, don't, if you fucking touch my sister, I will punch you in the face. <laughs> you can stand here, you can take a picture, and then you can get the fuck out. <laughs> no, it was very, I mean, they were definitely drunk. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely wasted, but <laughs> like, definitely a moment. A, you know, a free reign to mm-hmm. be but. But, uh, nah, the overall experience of this, very, very fun to make these. I end up loving how they look so much. All the whole, just the whole like look came together so well. It's also kind of fun that our tattoos happen to match <laughs> up, our did, cosplay. That, that did confuse some people. They were like, "Wow, those look so real!" And we're like, "Well, I hope so." The, yeah, right. <laughs> They're like, "Wow, you're fake!" Ta- you guys even added fake tattoos, and we're like, "No, these are just our tattoos." <laughs> yep. So if you, yeah, chat. If you guys didn't know, the tattoo that I have, which, yeah, I tattoo, have. it's sister tattoo. We also have a third sister who also has the tattoo. <laughs> yes, we all so have the tattoos. It's good. It's fun. We like them. But yeah, chat, that is our, our funky build book, which we uh, we wanted to share with y'all because it's fun to get to show like all the progress we did, all the things we did together on this outfit, the monumental amount of effort that went into it. Also, it's always fun to kind of get to pop in, you know, some like cosplay tips mm-hmm. into things. I don't know. But uh we've been doing this for a while and it was super fun and mm-hmm. even though there was some weird stuff with the uh contest itself. Yeah. Uh we really enjoyed getting to put it together and really seeing our work laid mm-hmm. out cuz lots of times like we have a lot of cosplays that kind of got lost to time. Yeah, we like don't have a lot of good photos or progress of piece, pieces of stuff which makes me really sad cuz some of them have like some really cool stuff. <laughs> no, like I had a wig that I worked like 12 hours on mm-hmm. and I don't have no progress pics of it. Yeah. And that's sad. So we decided we're not going to do that anymore. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna be better at documenting our progress because it's just fun mm-hmm. and I like it. But it's always a neat time. I, I really like things and... I don't know. If you guys ever have cosplay questions, fun fact, there is a uh, channel in my Discord that is Cosplay Help, where you're welcome to pop in uh, cosplay questions that you have that anyone can answer. That that section is for, like, anyone can answer that one if people know. I have cosplay resources on my uh, Discord as well that, like, shows, like, some of the websites that I like getting uh, wigs from. And I also have my own little Q&A section that if you guys have more questions, even about, like, the stuff that I showed you, I am so happy to, like, share with you guys stuff like this because i i like talking about funky cosplay things <laughs> yeah, fun. and lots of cosplays just trying things out and hoping they work <laughs> so true especially because so much of us like all of our cosplay stuff is so entirely self-taught yep. <laughs> like it's it's us like looking at the internet things and being like sure i think i could do that <laughs> No, and like why our grandma's a seamstress. She's a quilter. Yeah, she's a quilter. So like, so for the most part, we're pretty self. I taught myself how to hand sew. <laughs> and I taught myself how to machine sew for the most part. Yeah, but like, what are the head guidance? Are the headphones I'm using. What a great question. If you ask that somewhere, I bet I can get my husband to answer it for you because he definitely bought them. <laughs> they're, like, they're air is what the logo says. Air something because they're they're open air headphones, which means that I can hear everything. And they're really lightweight, and they don't give me headaches. <laughs> Cosplay is so cool. Cosplay is cool. I love, I love it. Also, it was really fun to meet some of you. Yeah, yeah, we did get to see people, yes, and people, that was very cute. people got to come say, give us things, and also, say hello. Your fans were not creepy. <laughs> yeah, my fans were cool. My fans were you not are. any of the creepy people that we interacted well, with. Con. Very well. Very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Kudos to you. You acted well as approval by Dill. <laughs> but you did a good job. Uh, with that.